In this video, we'll look at how to graph the parent function of both sine and cosine. So, I wrote down y equals sine x. That's one of the sinusoidal parent functions. They're both sinusoidal. Sinusoidal just means a wave. Sine x is a wave. Let's make a table of values for it. Unlike our normal table of values, though, we're not going to pick 0, 1, 2, 3. We're going to pick nice degree numbers that we know, and you'll know after this video, will make nice values to put on our graph. Those values are 0 degrees, 90 degrees, 180 degrees, 270 degrees, and 360 degrees. When you take out your calculator, we're going to calculate the y values now. Make sure your calculator is in, deg is in degrees. Mine isn't. It depends on your calculator. Mine, you have to hit mode a couple times, and now choose one for degrees, and there's a little d here now saying it's in degrees. Okay. Now we can calculate. What's the sine? Use your sine button of zero. You get zero. What's the sine of 90? One. What's the sine of 180? Zero again. No surprise. What's the sine of 270? Negative one. And what's the sine of 360? Zero. That is the sine parent function table. And I know it off by heart because I've done it so many times. Eventually, you'll get used to this. That sine starts at 0, goes up to 1, goes down to 0, goes to negative 1, and back to 0. Let's graph that. I already had a graph prepared here. So we could just start putting those values. Sine starts at 0, and at 90 degrees, goes up to 1. At 180 degrees, comes back down to zero. At 270, remember to label every second tick, so 180, 270, that's at negative one. And then at 360, it's back to zero. Let's connect them. Before we do, though, I like to do a couple things. I can't go past this point, so I make a nice U-shaped curve, both to make it the maximum I go to, and to make sure I curve smoothly. Same thing down here. That's going to be my turning around point. And then a nice smooth curve. So come up and curve out here. Come down. It never quite gets straight. And then curve out here. And it'll be perfect, but it, does, it should look like a curve. And come up through here. And put arrows to show that it continues. I'm going to put an arrow on the other side here, but I just wanted to show you, you could continue this pattern. Sign starts at zero goes to 1, goes to 0, to negative 1, to 0. You could keep this pattern going. The next 90 degrees later, it's up at 1 again. And then 90 degrees later, it's back at 0. And then it's down to negative 1. And then it's back to 0. So you could keep going. Sometimes questions on a test will ask you to graph two full cycles, which is two full complete waves. And now we've done that put an arrow at the end. And we should label this because I'm going to put the cosine wave on here too. That's the sine wave. Okay, let's make a table for cosine. Same thing, x and y. And for these parent functions, in degrees, the values we pick for x are 0, 90, 180, 270, and 360. Let's see what we get. But like sine, if you do it enough, you'll have it memorized. The cosine of 0 Cosine starts at 1. Let's put a 1 there. Okay, now 90 degrees. I'm just trying to keep the calculator out of the way here. Cosine of 90 is 0. Just like sine, it's going to make a wave pattern. Starts at 1, goes to 0. Then at 180, the cosine of 180 equals negative 1. And then cosine of 270. Though, if you understood the pattern of sine, it follows that same pattern comes back to zero, where do you think it's going to go next? Let's find out. Cos of 360 was back to zero, now it's up at one. Just like sine, it follows this nice wave pattern. Let's graph it. Cosine starts at one, and then at 90 degrees goes down to zero. At 180 it's at negative one. At 270 it's back to zero. And at 360 it's all the way up here at 1. Well, let's graph that. So start at 1. That's its maximum points. That's a turnaround there. I'll put an arrow. 
and then come down in a nice curve here, bottom out here, and then go back up and get to here, where it started. Now you don't have to extend the wave, but I extended the last one, same thing. Let's look at those points. One, zero, negative one, zero, one. So back down to zero, and then down to negative one, and then back up to zero, and up to one. Let's keep that connecting. So keep this coming down to here, and then come around, make a nice curve. A U shape, not a V shape for the turn. And then when you get to the top though, don't put an arrow going up. You know it's coming down, so put an arrow coming down. And let's label this one as Y equals cosine of X. You might also notice that cosine and sine are almost the exact same wave, just 90 degrees shifted of each other. That's going to become important later in the work we do. Nevertheless, this video is about graphing the parent function of sine and cosine, both of them sinusoidal functions, both waves. For both of them, we drew the graph by making the original tables, picking 0, 90, 180, and 270, and 360 for the x's, putting the points, and even extending those points in their pattern to make two full cycles, two full waves of each equation. And we've done it. We've graphed the parent functions of sine and cosine.